Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Boardsy, and in this video we're going to be doing an initial impression slash like PSA sort of about the Cox CM600 because um this mouse is pretty popular but people really don't know much about it. It's sort of hard to get and there's very few reviews. And I actually bought a modded version from MazeXM1 on Twitter. I'll leave his links in the description. Basically, I saw this mouse on my Twitter feed, and I DM'd him, and I bought it. Um, I would have basically paid any amount of money, but I paid $100, and I'm very satisfied. Shipped it quickly, yada yada. Sick. Um, I'm not going to do a full review of this because it's extremely modded, though. Um, as you can see, it has a paint job, aftermarket feet, a zebra cable... And I just don't really want to um, review this because that's not the mouse you guys are going to be getting. You guys are going to be getting this mouse. And I have my retail copy on the way. It's somewhere in the Pacific Ocean, most likely chilling. Um, and whenever I get it, I'll do like a proper mouse review. But I just wanted to talk about this mouse because um, I was wrong about a lot of the things I thought about it. Um, first off, this is nothing like a G203. Um, here's the G203 versus the uh, CM600. As you can see, the uh, CM600 is smaller in every single aspect. And it also, um, they advertise it at 39 grams, but I presume that's without like a scroll wheel, main switches, DPI button, maybe the side button, certainly no cable, um, maybe no screws, because mine weighs in at like 45 grams. So that's like a 7 grams above what they advertised. And I feel like I kind of have to be pissed about that because um, I was pissed when the Mira S was like 65 grams. So this is kind of, um, I'm not like annoyed, obviously. It's not like it's too heavy, but um, it's not 39 grams, you feel me? Um, but it is lighter than an egg. Apparently that was their goal. And uh, fuck, the egg will not stay on the scale. I don't know if this is cheating. Um, but yeah, oh fuck. I don't know if it's like a proverb or something, the egg always rolls south, but it sure seems like it. But um, the egg on my scale seems to hover around 55 grams. So this mouse is lighter than an actual egg, like one that comes from chickens. It also happens to be of the same design as a chicken egg. Um, it is at its most narrow point at the top. It's at its widest at the grip width, and uh, at the bottom, it's not as wide as it was at the grip width. Obviously, the mouse is a bit bigger than the egg, like the actual egg, um, I presume for PCB reasons, but it's pretty cool. And yeah, I'm going to try to show you guys through my grip, but this is how I would fingertip grip an egg, and I don't know, just you'll see my grip on the CM600. It might be a bit more flat, but it is um, essentially the same thing, so very similar to an actual egg. You can't say that about the G203. Like, look at my grip on the G203. That's nothing like my grip on the uh, egg. So it's certainly going to be for people who are comfortable with aggressive fingertip. I mean, you could claw it. Um, I don't know. I have 20 by 10 hands, so on the bigger side, and I can claw it. It's not very comfortable, though, and I wouldn't really recommend it. You can't claw an egg, though. So that is one way it um, changes from the egg, because an egg is just simply too small. It does have a bit more length, so you can claw it. Um, it has a 3360, like I said before. The only issue I've had is the LOD seems to be a bit low, but maybe that's because I don't have the stock feet. And I can't find software for this mouse, so if you know the software, it's like fucking SOS, um, please let me know. Um, because I spent like 10 minutes looking for it, and I couldn't find it, and I refuse to put any more time into it. The uh, switches... Um, they're Huano blue shell white dots. You can see it through the triangle. They are a bit, not stiff, but a bit heavy. Certainly interesting. Might swap them out for TTC golds. I feel like a mouse this small and light shouldn't have heavy clicks. Um, the quality on them is great, though. Pretty impressive for, like, a cheap Chinese mouse. Um, well, it's not really that cheap. It is $60 from eBay. Ships from China. No idea when you're going to get your copy, but it will show up in the mail randomly one day. But it passes all of my quality checks. There's like no side flex, like it doesn't actuate the buns, which is sick. No rattling, always awesome. The click quality is superb. It's the only way to put it. Um, I'm just very surprised that there's like no pre or post travel. Um, the side buns, they kind of feel like G305 side buns, which is very bad. But they're super light, pretty snappy. Who the fuck uses side buttons anymore? Um, this isn't going to be like a god mouse for Fortnite. I mean, I don't know. You could use it, but I'm not really recommending it. Um, especially considering the fact that you are going to need to mod it. That's why I really do think this is like an enthusiast mouse, but it's pretty fucking sick. And um, Maze did an insane job on the Zebra Gang paint job. He 
made this the dpi button in white okay this dpi button is also like impossible to activate um it's super heavy it used to be red now it's white same thing with the side buttons and i don't know just the splatter very sick very sexy looks better than the old g wolves mice but yeah this mouse very light close to an egg that's really all you need to know about it not close to the g203 though um, but yeah peace out make sure to leave a like and sub and have a lovely rest of your um life